Hello siblings, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you guys the past month because I was doing the 28 day 2021 summer shred program made by Chloe Ting herself. I'm trying to get back into fitness. This is my push into that and I decided to vlog it for you guys again and show you my month long transformation for week. Um, the reason I initially started this challenge was honestly for mental health, physical health, just to feel healthy overall. I needed a change. I was sick of my body. I was sick of looking at myself in the mirror and not liking it. But I was also just sick of myself and I need those endorphins. I, I need to be active every day, especially working from home and not having to walk a lot or get up and walk around a lot. Speaking of mental health, this video is brought to you by someone I'm so proud to be sponsored by, Better Help. And I will be talking more about them a little bit later in the video, so stay tuned. So this is me trying the Chloe Ting program. Here's day one. Now that I'm done with day one, I like to talk about it. So at the end, I know how I've changed. Um, my calves were absolutely dying. I had to do a lot of low impact on this one because of all the jumping was hurting my calves. And I just like couldn't fully do a lot of the movements, especially things that involved like push-ups or just being on the ground was really, really hard for me. And I was really tired, but I think I'm always gonna be really tired. I did it, I finished it, it was really hard and my butt is really sore already and my calves are burning. So day one complete. So I wanna do a little bit of commentary for you guys. This is day two and I am honestly struggling to get through this i am so weak and i just literally couldn't get through it without taking a break or falling day three was a lot of like repetitive butt workouts but it wasn't too bad day four is a rest day it's supposed to be an active rest day but i didn't do anything so rip uh day five was difficult i didn't want to do it but i did it anyway day six was pretty repetitive and i was getting kind of bored throughout it but it was just enough challenging and i ended up getting it done even though i really really did not want to do it I never took a before video or picture or anything. I'm not sure why. So this is where my before is in the middle of the video. I think I took this on about day five or six. Day seven, active rest day. I actually went to the gym, ran a mile and lifted some weights because I hate running and I just really needed the endorphins and doing something I hate to remind me that I don't hate myself. Week one is complete. I definitely still feel myself very weak, but I can already feel myself getting stronger and being able to kind of get through that entire three or four workouts that we do. I still do take a few breaks, but I feel significantly better than I did on day one. Overall, I have more energy, I feel better, and I'm really, really excited to keep pushing myself for the next three weeks. So here we go, day eight. And like I said, I am doing this for mental health. And I just wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about something else you can do to help your mental health. And that is talking to a licensed therapist. So today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online therapy. You can start communicating with a professional licensed therapist within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help. It is professional therapy done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network, which may not be locally available in many areas. This service is available for clients worldwide. You just log into your account anytime and you can send a message to your therapist. You get timely and thoughtful replies from your therapist. You can also schedule weekly video or phone sessions. So you never have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room like traditional therapy. They also make it easy and free to switch therapists if you need to. It's also more affordable than traditional offline therapy and they have financial aid. BetterHelp wants to help you start living a happier life today. So you guys can go to betterhelp.com slash Francis. that's better H-E-L-P, and join the over a million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of experienced professionals. And I have a special offer, you guys can get 10% off your first month by going to betterhelp.com slash Francis. That will be in the description, please go check it out, get started today, and better your mental health. 
Now let's continue with this challenge. Something else that I've had to remind myself and I wanna remind you guys is that they say that it takes four weeks for you to see a difference. So like I've started to see a difference. When I look in the mirror every morning, I'm like so happy. I'm like, man, look at me. Like I look so much better and I have like a glow to me. In eight weeks, the people close to you will start to notice. So like, you know, friends and family. And then is it 12 weeks? Then the world starts to notice because that's when you see that big before after picture. So basically, if you give yourself three months, you will look completely different. I also read somewhere that you should always give yourself the three month rule. So this goes for good and bad habits. When you are consistently working out and following a diet, in three months, you are going to see the results of that. And the same goes for stopping exercise, eating like crap, not taking care of yourself. You might not see it right away, week after week, but in three months, you'll look back and see like a big difference. And I have now seen both of those happen to myself. So I stand by that, three months. <laughs> Another thing I have to say is one month might not be very long, but it's also really long at the same time. When you're going through it, a month is a long time. I look a little better, but it's only been a month, especially when you consider that three month rule. Some people take six months to a year to see that major, body change so one month is just nothing one month is just the starting point after those three four five six month marks is when you're really going to see the big changes so be lenient with yourself Today is day eight, so I'm officially on the fourth week of this program. I can't believe I've actually stuck with it. This long, I've been this consistent since I did this last year. So let's get this last workout done. It's also a 40 minute one, so. All of these days of workouts that I have completed. Of course, it starts with a 20 minute hit workout. Guess who just finished 28 day Chloe Ting 2021 Summer Shred program? Me, I did. So let's talk about it. All right, so I completed the program and these are my results. I weighed myself this morning and I ended up losing five pounds this month. I don't know how to feel about that. Like I am super proud of myself, like five pounds. But also I feel like I could have lost more, but I have to remind myself that this is just month one it was just four weeks and that i really didn't start taking my diet serious until like the third week and then of course what you guys are all waiting for here are my before and afters i don't know if you guys can see a big difference but overall i feel so much better and i can see a big difference i feel like the fat is just like kind of shredding off of me i feel like the biggest difference is in my back Everything feels a lot tighter and like when I'm laying in bed at night, I'll like feel my side and I'm like, whoa, it's like, there's like no roll or anything. It's just flat on the side. It's just a really weird feeling I haven't felt in a long time. Or like when I put my hands on my hips, it feels so much like tighter. It doesn't feel so like loose, if you know what I mean. I am super proud of myself overall. I feel mentally so much better. And as I mentioned, I was doing this a lot for the mental aspect, so that's amazing. This has definitely helped push me into fitness. And so here's a few things, like reminders or tips I have for you guys if you are wanting to get started. Just start. Even if you end up missing a day or two, don't use that as an excuse. Don't try to start over, just keep going. Because if you can stay consistent and keep pushing through, the workouts get easier, you end up getting more consistent, you actually start liking doing the workouts because of the way that it makes you feel. Um, another fun thing that I've seen is I actually have like muscle. Like at the beginning of this, I could not do a push-up. And although my push-up form might not be amazing right now, I can actually do a push-up. I can hold my body weight. And on my arms, like I literally spend all day doing this because I have like muscles right here and I haven't felt those muscles in so long. Even on like right here, like I can just feel all the muscles. Everything is just like so much tighter. Like 
Although you can't really see, oh, you kind of can see a little muscle right there. Like I just feel so much stronger. And seeing the way that you can push yourself and like how at the beginning of the workouts, I was literally barely making it through like a 30 to 40 second exercise and now I could get through it no problem or I couldn't do push-ups now I can I at the very beginning I remember noting to myself I couldn't finish doing the jumping jacks because my calves were hurting so bad now I can do jumping jacks just breeze through them no problem now I just want to emphasize a diet diet and drinking water are so 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 important the first two weeks I feel like I was kind of seeing results just because I was of course being more active but I wasn't paying any attention to my diet and then once I started counting my calories in that third week, I started eating in a calorie deficit, really keeping track of how many calories I'm burning, how many calories I'm eating, and that's when I started to really see changes and feel better and like genuinely feel like fat like melt off. I don't really stand by any particular diet because I think that different things work different for everyone, but as a general stance, the only way that you can lose weight or gain weight is calories in versus calories out. If you want to lose weight, you have to eat in a calorie deficit. As you guys know, I did start 75 hard and then I actually ended up stopping 75 hard also within this challenge. So I ended up doing the Chloe Team workouts plus 45 minute walks every day and eating in a calorie deficit. So. Yeah, I'm starting to see some pretty good results with my two weeks of doing that. Overall, I think Chloe Ting workouts are really great. She has amazing programs and they're completely free. You just go to her website and she gives you a day by day, including rest days. I love how her stuff is very hit focused. It gets your heart rate up and you really burn a lot of calories doing her workouts. And then there's some days where you are more focused on toning and building that muscle. So I think her program was overall really well. And I decided I want to start doing different YouTubers programs or trying different things every month in my fitness journey. So let me know who you guys want me to do next or what challenge you want me to do next. Whatever you want, just comment it down below. And let's get fit and change your lives and start healthy living today. So I would highly recommend. It takes time, it takes commitment, it takes discipline, but boy oh boy is it worth it for the mental health above all else. <laughs> Anyway, so that is me completing the 28 day summer shred program of Chloe Ting's. Make sure to hit subscribe to stay along in my journey because tomorrow I am starting another program. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.